Hi guys, Riaz here from Blade and Triggers. And yeah, we recently or pretty much every day get noted or get notices about load shedding. Um, but today I'm going to bring something quite awesome to you. I think one of its kind. I actually haven't seen this before or anything like it before. A tactical compact or subcompact torch that will fit on pretty much any pistol. And um, yeah, from Vector Optics, the Vade torch. So we're gonna do a quick unboxing and take a look at it. All right guys, so here we have it. Uh, the Vade from Vector Optics. And yeah, it comes in a decent box. Um, they call it the Scrapper Flashlight. Um, and quite a couple of key features that you actually have and it's noted on the front of the box. Um, lumens up to 500 lumens and you obviously have the strobe function as well as um, yeah the magnetic charging point so like I said to me this is pretty much one of its kind a first and um, I'm going to show you a couple of reasons now why so what you get in the box is your basic user manual and um, that will give you a full rundown on what the torch can do and how to actually mode go through the settings. We are going to show that to you here now as well. And then you get a USB charger, magnetic charger. So yeah, you don't have to plug this into any, any plug or switch onto the torch itself uh, that you get with it. You get the Allen key to attach the torch to the, a standard Picatinny rail. And um, you get two of these anti uh, spaces that you can actually put into the torch depending on um, what unit or where weapon you're actually going to put this onto. Some of them obviously have different rails where that will come in handy and obviously work perfectly. And then, yeah, we have the torch on its own. So typically, as I said, I haven't seen anything like this before. It's packed with features, um, quite cool features as it is. And the biggest thing is the size. I think the size really speaks for itself and speaks out in so many words. I haven't seen anything like this before. Okay, just picking on the size there again, um, as you, you saw it at the beginning, the post of the torch fitted quite well on that CZ75 that I have it on and yeah we're going to be put fitting it on there again to give it an overall look and feature of the, uh, the torch itself um, but yeah the torch itself is packed with a whole lot of different features and a couple of those features are you get the different lumen settings or your brightness settings starting off from 500 lumens um, and then going down to around about um, uh, 200 lumens and up to 40 lumens. So typically a 40 lumen, uh, the, the, the 40 lumens, that one, it was most likely would help you quite well in a load shedding situation uh, because that actually goes up to, or you can use it up to around about four hours on that setting. And then around about 200 lumens, you can actually go up to about half an hour on that. And then Unfortunately, due to the max draw rate of the 500 lumens, you, you get around about 10 minutes of usage. It does have a strobe function as well, but um, yeah, let's get into how the actual unit works, switching it on and uh, something quite cool, which I think why I mentioned, I haven't seen anything of that sort. It's got a smart sensor and I'm going to show you what that smart sensor is all about now in a bit. All right. so. Let's take a look at um, a couple of features and how the unit switches on. Um, it has a button on either side. Um, you might mistaken this for a button. As I said, it's a smart sensor. So yes, switching the unit on. Oh, well, wait. Oh, no, sorry. There we go. Ah, I always make that mistake. Um, as I mentioned, smart sensor. So we're going to get into that now. So by just keeping that, you switching it on once will get the unit on and uh, keeping it in for a second will change your different mode. So I'm going to go through the different modes quickly. That's the brightest at 500 lumens, keeping in for a second. And that will give you around about uh, 200 lumens and another second. 
So it goes to there, there it goes down to your 40 lumen. And as I mentioned, 40 lumens can last up to, um, with this unit can go up to about um, four hours. So that's going through the, the, the settings itself. And then you can just double tap that and um, it will go through onto its throw mode. And um, touching base on the smart sensor itself, and I had my finger on the sensor when I switched it on the first time. So as you can see there, I've got my finger on the sensor, and as soon as I remove it, the light actually goes on again. On the sensor, gone again, um, back on. So this actually acts as a bit of a toggle switch um, in so many words. So as soon as your light is on, if you're going through a bit of a, a dark or a, a room and not wanting to actually click on or switch on the light, you can switch on the, the light beforehand and uh, just have your, your finger on that sensor the whole time. And uh, that would actually switch the torch on and off. And the cool thing about it, it is completely silent so you're not making any noises by switching the unit on itself. So there we go. And the nice thing about it, it obviously has the memory. So if you set the, the unit onto its strobe function, by just switching it on the next time, it will have it directly onto strobe. Taking a look quickly on the other side as well, that is your charging port. And as I mentioned, it's magnetic. Just plugging the, the charger into a USB, clipping it onto there and um, yeah, that will get your your gun char or your torch charging it actually does have a light sensor over there so let's switch the unit on and as you can see the light um, go green at this point in time that shows me that the the unit is is pretty much 75 percent charged so it's around about 75 percent charge it's orange light would give you 20 to 20 to 75 percent charge if it's showing orange and if it's red it's under 25 percent and then you need to get it charged. So yeah, let's take a look at that. Um, let's fit it onto the torch again, onto the pistol again, and just give a, a bit more of a detailed look on how it actually presents itself on the CZ75. All right, and there we have it, the unit back onto the CZ75. And it just screws in quite simply enough by loosening the Allen key, which you do get supplied with in the box. And um, yeah, clamps on quite nicely on the pistol itself. And as you can see, nothing protruding from the front. It tucks away quite nicely. And there's no real big bulge at the bottom of the pistol itself. So nice, sleek, put away. And uh, from the side as well, you, can, you won't be able to identify that there's a, a torch on there. Um, so yeah, quite nice, nicely fitted on the pistol itself. And all that you need to do, one touch, would we'll switch it on. I still have it on the strobe setting. And um, yes, just by the release of that uh, smart center, you can basically toggle the unit going on and off. So yes, that's how the, the Vade actually fits quite nice and snugly. And all that you need to do is most likely mold your holster with the torch on and um, yeah pretty much never seen before. The Vade from Vector Optics. And there we have it, the new Vector Optics torch or the Vade torch from Vector Optics. Uh, could definitely or perfectly for those load shedding situations, but other than that, more on a tactical purpose, tactical reason, definitely a torch to look into, definitely a torch that, uh, that will work for more purposes, especially for those tactical guys. And um, yeah, in most cases, definitely will hold recoil because it obviously has those extra sensors, fits perfectly on any pistol or any rifle itself. For this one here, the Vade Torch, the link is down below. Alternatively, shop at any of our 13 stores countrywide. See you on the next one. And yes, don't forget, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.